Hello, class. Welcome to our math lesson today. We are going to be counting money. And at the end, I hope that you can say, I can identify nickels and I can count nickels. Let's begin. This is a picture of a nickel. A nickel is worth five cents. On the head side of the nickel, we have a picture of Thomas Jefferson, and he's the third president of the United States. On one side of the nickel, it says, in God we trust. And on the other side, it would say liberty and the year that it was minted. On the tail side of our nickel, we have a picture of Monticello. It's a beautiful building. Below that, it says five cents because that's how much a nickel is worth. And below that, it says United States of America. A nickel equals five cents. I have five pennies here because pennies are all worth one cent. And if we have five pennies, we could trade them in for a nickel. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five. A nickel equals five cents. It takes 20 nickels to make one dollar. We're going to count these nickels together and I want you to count with me. And when we count them, we're going to count them by five because a nickel equals five cents. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. It takes 20 nickels to make 100 cents or $1. Counting nickels makes me think of counting tallies. When we make tallies, we put them in groups of five. There are five tallies that are straight up and down and one tally that goes right across. And when we count tallies, when we see a group like this, we can count by five, just like when we count nickels. Let's count these tallies together and we're going to count by five while we count them. I want you to count with me. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. There are 100 tallies on this page, just like there are 100 cents in a dollar. And when we counted these tallies, we counted by five, just like when we count by nickels, we count by five. So I want you to remember that a nickel equals five cents. Now here, I have more than five cents. In fact, I have double that. So if a nickel equals five cents, how many nickels will I need? One, two. I would need one nickel for every group of five cents. If you have five pennies, you can trade it in for a nickel. Here I have five nickels. I would like for you to count with me. And we're going to count by five. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. Five nickels equals 25 cents. Good job. Here I have three nickels. Do you know how many cents that would be? Let's count these together. 
five, ten, fifteen. Three nickels equals fifteen cents. Well done. What about if we had seven nickels? Let's try that together too. Count with me. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five. Seven nickels equals thirty-five cents. Here we have nine nickels. Do you know how many cents would equal nine nickels? Let's count together to find out. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five. Nine nickels equals forty-five cents. Good counting. I know with some practice you're going to be able to say I can count nickels. I would like for you to practice today. Do you have some nickels at home? Why don't you get a little pile of nickels and practice counting? I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye class.